So, so you know, the investment readiness level is, was, it's just a tool. It's not a replacement for anybody's good judgment, and it's not a replacement for, gee, we're going to just plug numbers in and see whether we invest or not. But I just kind of was reacting to um, watching my students and entrepreneurs pitch at VC firms, and, you know, you can almost tell whether the partners have had coffee or not, or whether they're looking at their watch for another meeting, and what, and in fact, the same presentation pitched at different times of the day would get very different reactions. And between partners, you have partners reacting in different ways. I didn't like their font, or, gee, you know, his shirt was unbuttoned, or <laughs> you go, well, what about the idea? And I realized that there was no coherent numbers or e even a common language that we could share about at the core. What did we think about, like, was this a viable deal? And so uh, about 40 years ago, NASA and then ESA, uh, European Space Agency, adopted something called the technology readiness levels, which basically said before we put a spacecraft into orbit, w we need to make sure they go through a certain level of, of kind of, is it ready? from level zero to it's just theory to level nine to we're ready to fly it. And I realized we could probably now with the Lean Startup gather enough evidence, that is create something called evidence-based entrepreneurship to allow investors to say, okay, well, let's rank the technology as this ready to go, but also let's rank its business model. Have they found product market fit? You know, do they have like revenue? Do they have a plan for monetization? And in each firm and for each technology, we could decide among ourselves as partners, do we care or not about these things and, and kind of rank, what is it we care about? And so when we have a partner discussion, we could actually go through a checklist and say, well, I thought they were five out of 10, or no, these guys had, or women had really nailed it at nine out of 10. And so the investment readiness level simply gives investors and entrepreneurs a common language of how well are they doing on the path to commercialization.